Coach Bray, team champions, Dayton Christian. Coach, you got some freaks on your team. David Carr is unbelievable. Your son's, uh, he's unbelievable. Just the guys I see wrestle for Dayton Christian, um, it's fun to watch. You guys put a lot of points on the board. We put a lot of points on the board. We stress putting points on the board. I, I'm not a, a big believer of just getting on a lady and sit on it. I like to score points and score. I mean, you watch David Taylor and Logan Steve, they put points on the board and the rest of them And that's what we try to do, too. So. You know, look at the championship. Uh, you know, Delta, you're, you're, you're swapping, you're flip-flopping. Yeah. They beat you last year. They did. And now you won it yeah. this year. And uh, I think they have more finalists than you. Yes. But you beat them head to head. How important was that head to head win with uh, with Carr? Did that ice it? I think it might have iced it. I, I don't know if that iced it or not. Uh, I think the uh, the funny thing is, is when they beat us on the backside in the constellations last year, even though they only had one finalist, uh, we flipped it. They had more finals than we wanted on the backside this year. Uh, we had four kids that were in the uh, consoles. They all won in the concert semis. They all, uh, three of them took third, one of them took fourth. So we won it on the backside like they did last year. And your son got beat in the semis, didn't he? He got beat in the semis, we had the cheek. But he came back? He came back and took third. Got what, two what's that mean? For us. Uh, you know, it, it means that he's got a lot of heart for us. You know, uh, we, we need some bonus points going through this concert, just like they did last year on us. Uh, he got two pins, one in the concert semis and one in the... Uh, Finals for third and fourth also. So there's big points for us going through it. First state title, school history, what's this mean to you? You know, it, it means our, our programs for a lot of time, and just not myself. You know, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God for everything that He does for us. I'd like to thank the administration for believing in me. I'd like to thank our parents. Uh, but you know, it comes down to the kids, they, they like to do it. They, they, they like to wrestle, they like to lift, they like to do, you know, what it takes to win. Uh, I'm happy for them. You know, I'm the just guy that helps steer the bus along. Uh, they do all the work. The parents put a lot of time into it too, you know, with bleacher rears and stuff like that, supporting their kids. Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot to the school. Hopefully we can just keep this going and keep it going uh, and build on it. I don't think that, uh, uh, we're going to be better next year, I think. You know, we're, we're junior loaded and freshman loaded this year. Uh, with, you know, we got Jansen Love, who didn't qualify, who's a two-time junior high uh, state placer. Uh, plus the three that did place it here with Petro and two champs in Hoskins and uh, McCure, or, uh, Hoskins and uh, Carr. And then you throw in you know, the senior, junior class with us. You had two freshman state champs? Yes. With Hoskins and Carr? Yes. That's pretty impressive, Coach. Very impressive, very impressive. Okay, so Danishek last year, you know, that that's kind of the year. This is the run. Danishek, we got to do it with Jacob Danishek. You get runner-up, he wins his fourth title. But you come back, you're totally reload and like almost like upgrade. Yeah. What did you, was that ever a thought in your mind? No, you know, I think uh, just the, the success that we've had, you know, uh, some people like to be a part of it. You know, I, I watched St. Ed's. Some of those guys when they have success, uh, people just sort of conjugate to it, and uh, we've we've been blessed with with some kids that transferred in and stuff like that with it. Uh, sitting out half the season and doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, but it's been a fun ride. So. You, you had a little bit of controversy with uh, 17 or 18 dates, something like that. It was 19 dates, and you had to sit guys out and. All that, yeah. that all worked itself out. It did work itself out. But when that controversy was going on, how stressful was that for you? Very stressful. It was probably the most stressful thing as a coach, as a school, uh, that I've ever been a part of. You know, you you feel bad uh, for the kids, that you feel like you blew it. Uh, the way it was done from the state and from the school, uh, they got it worked out. I can't go into the details with it. Uh, but it worked out for everybody. You know, it worked out for the school, it worked out for the state, it worked out for the boys. Someone says to you, Bray, the only reason you guys win is because you get transfers. What do you say to them? Uh, what do I say to them? Work harder. You know, work harder, watch your, watch, watch your craft does. I think it's funny that uh, everybody else gets transfers too. You know, I mean, I, I, I can't say there's not a school out there that doesn't get transfers. Uh, whether it's football, basketball, wrestling, whatever it may be, uh, it goes on. And I, don't, I just think 
you know what, for the parents, they're just trying to help their kids the best they can. You know, they're trying to upgrade whether it's for a sport, whether it's academics or whatever it is. It's not my choice what they do with their kids. It's their choice and I respect their choice. Uh, and it does, that's not just for my school, but throughout the whole state. Uh, so it's been good. Coach, congratulations on the first tit state title as a team. Thank you. A bunch of state champs. Keep getting them. You guys keep yeah. growing in the numbers. You got anything else for me? No, thanks, Flo, and thanks for everything you do. Uh, God bless, and thank you for all the Dayton Christian fans out there. All right, Coach. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you.